Oh, goody. All right. What's going on, everybody? Zombies here again, and today we're back with another Marvel Snap video. So today we are taking a look at the Black Agar Boltagon special. Uh, Black Bolt, long memed on card, is actually finally seeing his time in the sun. A lot of people have been hyping up this deck. I took it for a spin the other night to some rather impressive results. Feels just really, really strong. So what is this deck doing that makes it so good? Basically, we have a bunch of ways to interact with the opponent, such as putting rocks in their deck with Korg and Rock Slide and profiting off of doing that with the Darkhawk package. Uh, then Black Bolt, not only are we ripping a card from the opponent's hand, which can sometimes be relevant, but we're also making our stature cost one seven, uh, cost one, and turns out one sevens are really, really powerful. Uh, being able to weave this in during the final turn, you can weave this in through a wave as well. Just very, very powerful card. Uh, another card that we take advantage of for some cost reduction is Miles Morales. Turns out one fives are pretty good too. And we have two main ways of enabling him with Jeff and Polaris. Polaris has been really, really nice at occasionally locking up the opponent's lane or moving their nebula out of a place we don't want it. Very flexible card and has the bonus of enabling Miles. Uh, Jeff is the other half of that, good against the lockdown strategies, also helps with Miles. If you don't have Jeff, you could run Nightcrawler. Definitely a bit worse, but can still get the job done with the rest of the deck, even if you don't have Jeff. Zabu, because we have a lot of four cost cards, so that really helps us curve out a bit more efficiently running uh, Shang-Chi and Enchantress here as more tech options. I've seen some versions running Shuri, and I think that's a viable thing to do, but I do like how this deck dodges Shang-Chi, and sometimes being able to get an Enchantress out is really powerful, especially in the mirror matchups, when we're going to be running into other Darkhawks. And then Nebula. Nebula, one of the uh, kind of all-star one-drops right now. Really, really good card. Messes where your opponent has to kind of play their cards if they don't want her spiraling out of control if you get her early on so just a really solid addition to this very good deck so that's the deck i think it's one of the best ones we have found so far in this new meta uh, if you're looking for something to climb ladder with or wondering what you should be targeting to beat uh, i think this deck is kind of looking like it's at the top of the charts for that right now so that's the deck. We're going to get right on to some games with it before we do. If you enjoy this type of content, remember to like and subscribe. It does a ton to help out the channel. Keeps the videos coming. But without further ado, let's get into the games. Playing the broken deck, huh? Yep. Trying out the broken deck. It just seems so good. Seems very, very good. It's so funny how this deck came out of, like, fucking nowhere. Very amusing to me. Counter is all the best performing lists. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh my god, dude. We just caught them in 4k. We just caught them in 4k. They slammed their goblin. And this is random, by the way. Was their goblin random too? Oh, uh, we can't check. Does anyone remember if it had the border or not? I think it was a random goblin. Makes it even funnier. That was almost annoying. Oh, this is funny. I can lane lock them. Oh, man. That's got to be pretty rough for them, right? Actually, it's not that bad. Probably fine with it. I don't um, think so, but we'll see. I bet the I bet it's Shang. Spider Woman. Uh oh, and Demon. Oh my God, they didn't put their Demon middle. Interesting. Stegron's really nice when they just plant a big thing in a lane. It's not the 
craziest card or whatever, but it's, it's a pretty neat card. Sometimes it gets people. Ooh. Play Nebula when we can. I think Dabu is better to go out. Especially if we draw two drop. Nebula is pretty good on New York. Because every turn it takes, it's going to get worse. And it, it makes it really annoying for them. Alright, well, not annoying for them if they have Killmonger. So that could be a problem. Yeah. We gotta imagine Sarah's coming down here. Yep. They're lizard. Draw stature. And now we have some mind games to play. So hope. hope for the best. Chantress. Monkey. Stereo. Stereo, Stereo, Monger, no Monger, oh wow, is that enough? Yeah, holy shit, <laughs> oh my god, I was really close, Victory. holy shit. I don't think I particularly want to force priority. That feels not bad. Don't know why they let you buy those. Way overpriced for something like that for your continuing play because it uh it takes very little effort and a very small percentage of the people that do pay for it probably makes them a pretty significant chunk of change. Like 99.9% .9 of the player base see value in it. But that point, oh one percent I know people who do it. God damn, I threw Fry out. I was hoping to not do that. It's possible you might just want to try like other stuff in the deck. Uh, like I don't think you necessarily need the Miles package to be uh, competitive with the style deck. Oh, is it double monkey? Oh shit. Or Titania? Wow. Why didn't they play a second monkey? I guess they didn't think they. Did, they had two, right? Oh no, they only got one. They only got they got an extra copy. That was their second monkey. I was thinking they had two in hand for some reason. Everybody's playing it. It's a, a very solid deck. Wow, we actually well our our win rate in cube rate is gonna be a bit of related because granted to the bots. How's Nebula so far? Nebula's been great. We might still do it. Wave. They're gonna like doom me. That's my guess. So we're gonna. I think we're gonna pull now. Actually, Black Bolt could hit something big. It's great if we draw a stature too. Oh, see a Magneto. Oh, and we have Jeff too. Jeff doesn't give a fuck about your bullshit. We're in a lot of different decks. Doctor Doom. Oh, what? Captain Marvel. Is that enough? No, it's not. Close one, though. Very close. Is that a Jeff difference? 
Now we are up by nine. But this deck seems really solid. Like, I bet this could carry us up the next two ranks to uh, the eighties. Feels like a very solid deck. Increase our odds, get what we want in Death's Domain. Polaris. That's kind of annoying. So this is this looks like a mirror. Although it's not super annoying because now we can play Miles. Oh no, we can't because we're playing five mana. We could if we played another different card, but we should do Black Bolt, which is better. Wave. Got their Shank. Depends how this roll goes. Okay, this is kind of how we wanted things to go. They stayed in. She Hulk. Chavez. Yeah, this deck is this deck is good. This is a good deck. It's bear. Oh boy. Oh boy, that's not good. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. That's big. Huh. We're bigger, though. This is good against Dino, too. Shrinks it. Friendly neighborhood Spider Man here. Okay. They play blue Marvel, they go to 11, we would go to 10. Or no, we would go to 12 because of the Nebula. So we would just win. A rock slide was probably the play. That's a black cat. Well, we have cheap stature. Very nice. Very much big in the season so far. Nebula is just really fun to play. Like this is, I can definitely tell it's a card I'm gonna be messing around with a lot. That's rude. They lose their Black Bolt too though. Bruh, what? Holy shit. They're on the Raven special. Just have to do what we can here. Alright, Shang. At least they're doing it now, so we know. I'm gonna try. Doom. This is a hand. Going for infinite, that's the plan. Not getting not gonna get there today most likely, but being bugged, yeah, appropriate song for the uh the game. Oh, did we finally run into another Sarah? We haven't seen a Sarah in a minute. 
It has been a whole minute since we ran into a Sarah gamer. That's a bishop. So oh, definitely looking like a standard Sarah. Yeah, there do be some... Oh, what is this? There's a ju oh, that's a random jubilee, I guess. Still unexpected. Bothering with that lane. Doesn't seem worth. See ya, Jeff. Nice knowing you, bud. Oh man, that's value. Oof. Oh no. Enchantress? Shang-Chi? Shauna. What the fuck? That was close. I guess they're on Dara's list, probably. hoping they kind of go away when it's weird like they definitely change stuff with the matchmaking last update um and it was like pretty clear because you saw a lot of the people in like high bot mmr they started seeing more real players they still saw a bunch of bots but they didn't see nearly as many or at least uh some of the ones i know didn't but all those same people said the climb to infinite was like tons of bots this month but they see more people when they get there. Yeah, Bolt After Wave can be pretty sweet. Yeah, this is definitely a player. I don't think I've seen a bot with the rock yet. <laughs> yeah. The, the card acquisition system can be super annoying in this game, I agree. We have a good hand. Like, we just- we want to throw a priority if we can. So our Enchantress gets the value. Ooh, that's a good hit. That's a pretty good hit. I just have Doom. Interesting. It's kind of scary, to be honest. They don't know how many rocks I have, but I'm guessing I have more rocks than they do. They can play on the right, which is where I think they're going to play. They're either going to play left or right. I don't think they're going middle. Doesn't seem worth. Love them rocks. Me too. I'm just gonna go for it for two cubes. Hey, they left. Hog. Feels good. Sub goal today. So we're gonna be doing a devil dinosaur stream. I have a uh, inflatable devil dinosaur costume. Probably gonna do that on the weekend. Should be pretty funny. This is a bad hand. Ooh. Nebula looks nice at that bad of a hand. We just, we could have used one of our cheaper things. Bonk, bonk. I'm putting Hawk there is smart too. Polar. Out there in Panthers. We're just going for tiebreakers, aren't we? Oh, that's pretty funny. Oh my god, the doom! And now it's just over. The game is over, chat. Yeah. That's what I thought. 